Decoded, Russia's top secret jet with the deadly bang. The majority of aircraft used in warfare are classified into three categories, fighters, bombers, and ground attack planes. The M25, also known as Theme 25, was an aircraft that was developed by the Soviet Myashishev Aircraft Construction Bureau between the years 1969 and 1972. It was a fighter plane with a sonic boom, created specifically for the purpose of destroying foes. Want to know more? Hey intellectuals, welcome back to Vehicle Radar. In today's video, we are going to talk about the most powerful sonic boom ever recorded, which was created by Russia's top secret jet. So stay with us till the end of this video so you don't miss out on any of this information. And before we proceed, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell symbol so you don't miss out on any of our wonderful videos in the future. And let's get started! The events of the tale begin in the last months of 1968 in the southwestern region of Russia. A solitary MiG-21S fishbed fighter jet can be heard screeching through the crisp, dry air high over the fields of Lipetsk. The aircraft is picking up speed as the pilot pulls back on the throttle grip. When he gets to the outskirts of the large testing area, he gives the flight stick a light nudge forward and then levels out a few dozen meters. The afterburner comes on automatically. The airplane is able to fly at supersonic speeds. A massive shockwave reverberates above the desolate and frozen ground, sending fragments of earth and dead grass flying into the air and leaving behind a track that looks like a sideways hurricane. Any MiG pilot can tell you that when traveling at supersonic speeds, a fighter morphs into a bomber. You feel like you're flying on rails, the control stick becomes rubber, and even the smallest maneuver places a great amount of strain on the airframe. The more away you are from the dangerous ground, the better off you'll be. On the other hand, top secret military research is not intended to be risk free. Narrow steel tubes that resemble metal pins are installed on bench like platforms made of coarsely welded tubing, can be found strewn across the ground along the MiG's flight path. These sensors are part of the groups of others that have been placed there. The effect of the recording is that they shudder as the plane flies directly above them. The power of the sonic boom as a weapon. In 1969, the Soviet Union and its communist partner China were involved in a fight in the Far East that was relatively minor but could have had catastrophic consequences. The high leadership of the Soviet Union came up with the concept of an entirely new category of weapon, which was an aircraft that was capable of killing without the use of any ammunition and did not leave any contamination in the area that it struck. The M25 was going to be the first and only aircraft ever built to exploit the sonic boom to crush enemy troops while flying over open territory. Its mission was to do this, but was this the true history behind the story, and if so, why did the project never come to fruition? Actually, the history of the M25 begins with the demise of the strategic nuclear bomber, or more accurately, with the debut of the Sputnik satellite. The Russian government of the moment saw that the age of giant lumbering bombers was over and that it was time to move on to space because rockets now had the capability to exit the atmosphere, travel across the Earth, and possibly deliver an unstoppable nuclear payload. After Stalin's death, Khrushchev took over as leader of the Soviet Union and quickly realized that rockets were the way of the future. Stalin had been fixated on growing the Air Force. Any new aircraft would have to be specially designed to carry missiles, and they would be known as Rakitanis. Vladimir Vasilyevich Struminsky was the one who began to sound the alarm that the age of intercontinental ballistic missiles had arrived. At a moment's notice, he would make sure all the research and effort was shifted away from aviation and into rockets. Although it is said in a number of different sources that the concept for this project was formed in 1969, following the conclusion of the Sino-Soviet struggle, the concept itself was actually conceived the year before in 1968. On the other hand, in 1969, there was an important meeting that took place between the aforementioned Struminsky and the well-known Soviet aircraft constructor Igor Sikorsky. Vladimir Mikhailovich Mayashishev was his full name. He was the one who was responsible for creating a significant number of the Soviet Union's most well-known aircraft. The place where the M25 was either actually born or, more accurately, may have been born. Because of the design of this jet, it would not be necessary to carry any weapons or bombs on board. It would be difficult to halt the wave, and in contrast to nuclear weapons, there would be no radioactivity to clean up. The two of them started to work after they had the support of both the Old Guard and the New Guard, as well as the backing of the Soviet military. 
they began with supersonic aircraft that were already in existence, such as the MiG-21. At the Lipetsk Air Base, a number of test flights were carried out with the MiGs flying at an altitude of around 25 meters and a speed of more than Mach 1. These trials were utilized to determine the required speed of an aircraft, the potential issues it could develop, and the areas in which additional research was required. The expectation was that a basic aircraft that was already in the USSR's arsenal would do the trick. However, the pressure generated by the testing with the MiG-21 sonic boom was only sufficient to shatter glass. It was not sufficient to fracture concrete, steel, or human bones. They would need to construct a specialized aircraft so they could turn the boom up to levels that would decimate the world. The project, like all other top-secret Soviet endeavors, would be known only by its codename, Theme 25. Because regular airplanes were designed a certain way, they were forced to go back to the drawing board and make some adjustments. In order to save fuel, a conventional airplane aims to have as minimal drag as possible. When there's less resistance, there is less of a sonic boom. Therefore, this new design will need to be really innovative. It would have the appearance of a flying brick due to its aerodynamics, as well as its weight of 110 tons, its length of 39 meters, and its wingspan of 25 meters. The circular cross-section would be replaced with flat surfaces, and there would be two tails on either side of the vehicle's rear end. In order for the aircraft to move through the air at the speeds necessary to fly supersonic, it would require four enormous engines that were installed above the fuselage. These engines would be extremely powerful and would chew through fuel at an alarming rate. Other potential factors, such as positioning the engines beneath the wings to reduce drag, were also considered. One sole pilot would be stationed at the very front of the aircraft, where he or she would ride the sonic boom like a surfer riding a wave that breaks all previous records. The term ledge refers to a particular size protrusion that would be located beneath the floor of the aircraft. When the pilot was getting the plane in position for an attack, it would stretch out and add up to 60% more drag. The ledge itself would be equipped with a number of little ribs that were movable so that the assault would be more precisely concentrated. At a speed of 1.4 Mach, the airplane would cruise at a low altitude of a few meters, put the ledge into play, and create havoc. What's the end result? A sonic boom that would send shock waves reaching up to 6 psi, which is enough pressure to bring down buildings, rupture tanks, and blow people's heads off. Gruesome stuff, certainly. However, tremendous force is necessary to achieve supersonic flight in such an aerodynamically inefficient vehicle. Moreover, the aircraft's framework must endure the extreme heat and friction that will be generated. A specially designed, highly sturdy airframe and tremendously powerful engines are needed to weaponize the devastating force of a sonic boom. And that's it for today's video, guys. We sincerely hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please click on the like button and make sure you share our video with all your friends and family. If you have any questions or comments for us, you can always share them with us in the comment space below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel where you'll see even more of our incredible videos. And you can check out our other videos that have been specially selected just for you. One more thing, don't forget to punch that bell icon on your way out the door. That way you always stay up to date with our latest uploads for you. Thanks for spending time with us today, and we look forward to seeing you in our next video. Have a great rest of your day, and thanks for watching.